Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. And today, I just wanted to put up a follow-up video on a product that I reviewed um, probably about, I'd say, maybe a month or two ago. And this product is the Vizio Dolby Atmos Soundbar. And I just wanted to give you guys a quick tour of what I use for my entertainment system downstairs in my home. Uh, so naturally, I have a Vizio TV, and I used to have down here a Vizio Soundbar that had the rear surround. I forget exactly the model number, but it was the standard, uh, what was it? 5.1 Dolby, Dolby Digital uh, soundbar. And I tried many soundbars. I tested probably about five different ones. Um, Nakamichi, Polk Audio. Uh, what else did I have? I think I had a, a Panasonic or some, 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 some brand like that. I ended up returning them all until I found the Vizio soundbar. And I just was blown away with the quality, the, the, the volume, the clarity of the sound, and just the amount of depth that came out of the subwoofer. So not that long ago, uh, Vizio, a company that contracts with Vizio, reached out to me. Uh, they saw my video on the soundbar that I purchased, and they said, we'd love for you to review our brand new Dolby Atmos soundbars. And that's what I had mounted down here. The other soundbar I relocated upstairs. Um, and then, of course, naturally, this TV I ended up buying uh, probably about two years ago. Uh, this is a Sony Vizio, or Sony Vizio, that made no friggin' sense. A Vizio uh, Smart TV 70-inch 4K. And I love it. I have it wall mounted naturally, as you can see. And I wanted the, the system down here to really kind of be out of sight. Now, I know it's, you can see it obviously, but it's as out of sight as it could be in this room. Uh, you know, a 70 inch TV really, you think about it being so huge. And ultimately when you have one, I don't even realize it, that it's even that big anymore. Like you really become desensitized. Um, so I just wanted to just do a follow up video on the Vizio soundbar and the TV and just tell you guys, uh, you know, what do I think? Now that I have some time to actually use the soundbar, have movie nights over with my family, um, it's been fantastic, I tell you. Uh, Vizio soundbars, their products are just really, you get the most bang for your buck. This soundbar can be had right now and for about, I think it's $450 or $499, depending on where you buy it. I will put links in the description for where you get the best deal from the most reliable sellers, of course. And uh, I, I tell you guys, it's just, I'm blown away with the sound quality. Um, the thing gets loud, louder than I possibly could ever want, and um, you know you really get some great lows with these things. Uh, this one has a six and a half inch subwoofer, which I mean for me, I, I I would never really go with anything under eight in the past. I mean even eight for me is kind of small, but um, I just I'm blown away. So uh, that Vizio, they really they really tune their enclosures well, and I, like I said, other other sound bars I've tested. Other like prefab non, well I guess it is power, but other prefab systems that are like out of the box basically without actually you know putting your own 5.1 together with your own components, your own speakers, um, out of the box this thing is just, it's fantastic. Um, now with the Dolby Atmos, naturally I am getting kind of a simulated Dolby Atmos because I don't have a 4K player hooked up to this. I am probably going to hook up a 4K DVD player at a later date, uh, but as you can see everything, there's nothing here other than the TV and the soundbar. And I don't want to have any components out. I don't want anything visible. So what I'm going to do, a great company called Mount Genie sent me a military slash hospital grade uh, wall mount for a computer or a DVD player. So what I'm going to try to do is find a thin DVD player that's a 4K version mounted to the back of the wall, the wall here. Strap it sideways so you won't even notice that the DVD player is here and you can just sideload it, providing the DVD player is the style that actually sideloads. That's going to be something that I'll have to research and try to find. But it's going to be a great idea to actually get uh, a true 4K signal to the TV and get that Dolby Atmos soundtrack so you can really take advantage of the processing power that this thing has for Dolby Atmos. That's the whole point. But right now I'm using it as kind of a simulated Dolby Atmos sound. And what Dolby Atmos is, is basically you have two top firing speakers and they basically direct sound up and off the ceiling and you get more I guess I would say height uh, not headroom that's not the proper word for it, more height to your music or to your sound or to the track so uh, not only do you have sound coming from in front of you with your center channel your two your left and right uh, then of course the subwoofer has outs for the rears I have mounted and hidden behind you right now um, this the rear surround channels now they're not big they're very small but they, they just give you a little bit of that extra rear sound that you're going to be lacking if you just get a standard sound bar. And they're wireless, and that was kind of a big deal too. I want to be able to hide the subwoofer, put it in a corner, be able to hide the rear speakers where you walk in here, and really all you see 
is the sound bar and the TV. You don't see any of the other components. It's all tucked away. And when you want to watch a movie, it sounds fantastic. Um, now, one guy, one knucklehead, actually commented on my video, and he said it, my video sucked, and that you know I should really have, have showed a demonstration of the sound bar. Uh, you know, listening to it, my reaction. You know, guys, you're never gonna be. It's the same thing in the car audio world. You're never gonna be able to tell what something sounds like through a YouTube video. I mean, I can play you something out of a Google Home Mini right now, and you'll play it back on. Let's say you have a really nice computer sound system, like the, uh, like the, uh, what do I got there? The soundbar, the gaming soundbar by um, Creative, the Samurai. If you <laughs> check that out, guys, if you want to get a uh, computer system. But anyway, you know, you can play music through Adobe, a, a little tiny Bluetooth speaker. As long as it's putting out some of that, those bass notes, you're going to get it through your speaker. So there's really through your computer. So there's really no point in me playing this for you because it's just like if I turn on my system on my car and you hear it bumping, there's really no difference between my system bumping in my car or you having, you know, a little tiny bazooka tube in your trunk. You're going to hear the bass depending on what kind of camera. It's, it's going to sound better or, or fuller. Uh, depending on what you're playing it back on and what you've recorded on. So there's really no point in me playing this thing for you. Uh, it's, it's, it's a waste of both our time. So, uh, But I can assure you, it sounds fantastic. And if you want to get the upgraded version of this, which if you're in the market for a, a sound bar, look no further than Vizio. I'm telling you guys, you will not be disappointed. They make a step up from this, which is the 45-inch version. This is the 36 I wish they would have sent me the 45 only because this TV is so large. It would be nice to get a little more separation on the soundbar. Uh, and, you know, I'm surprised more people don't make larger soundbars. These TVs are getting bigger and bigger. And, you know, maybe at some point they'll they'll do a soundbar that actually has, um, you know, something maybe with, with two separate speakers or some way to maybe an adjustable soundbar. That would be pretty awesome if you have your, your side, your left and right is actually on some sort of, um, I don't know, like, like a bar or something that pulls out, and you could you could adjust it uh, to the size of your TV. You know that would be pretty cool. But right now, I mean, nobody has anything like that. Um, so it would be nice to have a little bit more separation. If you get the upgraded version, uh, I forget the model number. I'll put a link in the description to that as well. That one there not only has your your Dolby Atmos uh, in the sound bar, but it's, like I said, it's longer, 45 inches in length, and your rear speakers actually have up firing speakers on those as well. So that'll give you more of that uh, more of that height to your to your sound. Uh, the idea in that is that when you hear a plane flying over you, normally with Dolby Digital you'll hear it coming from the front and then you hear it exiting at the back where your speakers are placed. With Dolby Atmos you hear it traveling across the top of you. So it's more realistic. It's what a lot of movie theaters are using right now and uh, I absolutely love the sound bar. I mean I couldn't be happier. There's really no reason for me to ever want to upgrade it to anything else. I mean you get for what I, I consider this is pretty clean setup. Um, now, you might be wondering where I'm getting my stream from. This is uh, a Kodi program. I can stream directly off my network attached storage. And I have an NVIDIA Shield. So the NVIDIA Shield is the uh, best set-top Android box you can get. Uh, it's clean. It's fast. Uh, it blows a fire stick out of the water. I would like to get another one of these for my bedroom TV. It loads uh, all the streams fast. And it, it, it streams 4K no problem. So... Uh, and you can do the apps that come on it. You can, you know, if you don't want to use Kodi, you can use, you can use, there's tons of different apps you can get. You can sideload them. Uh, it's a great box. And I basically have that just tacked to the wall on the, uh, on the bracket, the wall mount bracket. You don't even know it's there. It's got a, you know, Bluetooth uh, remote control. Uh, you can game with it as well. There's a, a, a variety of games you can get for it. But I mainly just use it because it's got the processing power to deliver 4K and stream really well. And I love it. If you want to go ahead and add external storage on it you can uh, they do make a version up to I think it's a 500 gig version I have the 16 gig version because I'm not actually storing any media on them I'm streaming through my network off the network drives upstairs so uh, they're by Western Digital I got eight terabytes so uh, pretty awesome that's my setup like I said it would be nice to add that DVD player in the event that I want to throw in a DVD you know maybe I mean maybe the network goes down for whatever reason these things do happen I'll be a nice backup to be able to watch a movie in the event that uh, that does happen. So, folks, I absolutely stand behind these three products. Vizio Dolby Atmos sound, Soundbar, Vizio 70-inch uh, LED TV, and the NVIDIA Shield. Just awesome products. Uh, this is like a little movie theater down here. It's absolutely fantastic. And uh, the only downside is now these TVs have gotten, I mean, it's only been two years, and now the TV is like four jars less than I paid. So uh, now you get the 75. It's just, it never ends. 
All right, guys, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have any questions about this stuff whatsoever. I'm always here to help. Remember to click the like the, the like button, the subscribe button. If you do click the subscribe button, make sure you click the bell to be notified anytime I upload a new video. Uh, as always, Vizio, uh, thank you again for uh, their generosity in sponsoring uh, a portion of this video uh, with this sound bar. And guys, Christmas is right around the corner. You're going to get a sound bar. Seriously, check out Vizio. You you won't be disappointed. You can go buy other ones, bring them home. You'll ultimately settle on the Vizio soundbar. I guarantee it. So, oh, and if you go with the the, up, the upgraded version, the 45 inch version, you get I believe it's a 10 inch sub, eight or 10 inch sub. So even more bass. So pretty awesome. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Have a wonderful day and take care.